Hello my darlings, I hope you're all doing very very well. I just wanted to do a quick update video from my previous video that I posted yesterday where I covered the fact that the tattoo artist from Tattoo Gate, the one that did the very dodgy fox design, that tattoo artist is now taking legal action against one of the clients that spoke out against her. If you need the full story, I will have a link down below to that video where I cover the whole thing. By the time I had filmed and edited and uploaded that video ready to be posted, we had already posted another TikTok where she explains the fact that the email that she got was 100% legit because there was a few concerns as to whether it was real or not but it has been confirmed that the email is 100% real and Re herself is now going to take legal action and she's going to lawyer up. Tattoo gate update, shit is getting real. I have spoken to my lawyer and we are going to go ahead with sending a letter back responding to Lindsay's initial letter basically telling her to, f <laughs> to that if she proceeds with the suit of um, defamation that she is threatening um, that I will be countersuing for a breach of contract um, sharing my personal details um, among many things, I have a strong case. I know that everything that I've shared is true. I'm not backing down. I'm so incredibly proud of Ree for standing up for herself and saying, no, you are not gonna bully me down. You are not gonna bully me into silence because that's exactly what Lindsay wants. She wants all of this to go away. And like I said in my previous video, instead of just owning it, she's trying to silence people. And that just does not fly. We do not accept that. I, again, fully stand behind Ree. I feel like she's doing the right thing here. And I'm so glad that there are so many people standing behind her. The comments that I got on my previous video were freaking amazing. There were people again trying to give advice or people trying to help in any way they can. I'm also super glad that she's going pretty heavy on this by doing the counter lawsuit by saying, you know, Lindsay shared my personal information and I'm glad that Ree's lawyer is saying, yes, we have like a very strong case here. Because if anyone's gonna have a strong law case right now, it's gonna be Ree. It will not be Lindsay. Lindsay, like I said in my previous video, to me, just does not have a leg to stand on. Re has shared her truth. There will be evidence of what she has said. Lindsay has nothing. What does she have? Yeah, okay, maybe she can prove the fact that what has happened has affected her business, but that's on her. It's her problem. <laughs> Re then goes on to say that she has set up a GoFundMe. Um, but unfortunately, lawyers are not free. So I am just asking for some help here, please. I have set up a GoFundMe. The link is in my bio. Um, so yeah, if you could please help me, I would appreciate it. Like she said, lawyer fees are incredibly expensive. Again, yesterday I did have a few comments saying, is there any way we can help her? Is there a GoFundMe? Now there is. So that's why I kind of wanted to make a second part to this video so quickly just so I can put it out there. So this is Ree's GoFundMe page. It says legal fees for Ree McHugh. I hope I'm saying that right. It says down here, <coughs> I'm so sorry, I'm kind of losing my voice and I don't know why. It says here, hashtag tattoo gay on TikTok. As you know, Ree was served with a cease and desist letter by Lindsay Joseph's lawyer last week. The letter, which has been confirmed to be real, states that if all TikTok videos are not removed and an apology issued, etc that Lindsay will be proceeding with suing Re for defamation in court. Re feels she has the duty to the public to protect people from Lindsay Joseph. She will not be backing down. She is a bully and a scammer. Strong words. I love it. Re has found a lawyer and will be responding to Lindsay's threat letter with a letter stating that if Lindsay proceeds with her case, Re will be counter suing for breach of contract, sharing DL details. I think that's driver license details, which we've seen. Emotional distress and legal fees. However, even hiring a lawyer to draft a letter requires a thousand dollars this is canadian plus hst retainer re is asking the public to please help with these legal costs this whole ordeal has been such a mess and she does not want to have to back down now just over money lindsay joseph lucid tattoos needs to be brought to justice thank you everyone for your support i myself have donated 50 dollars, and i will leave a link down below to re's gofundme should you want to donate of course that's not possible for everyone but just sending re love I'm sure is enough just 
knowing that she has a lot of people behind her, I'm sure that will help her as well because this kind of thing is incredibly scary. And just knowing that you have a huge team behind you from all around the world, I, I can imagine that is such a morale boost. I truly do hope that the fact that Rhi is not backing down does make Lindsay back down. I feel like Lindsay may end up being aware that she is going to be in a losing battle from the get-go unless she has some kind of incredibly shark-like ruthless lawyer. I, I, um, which I doubt because, you know, they're normally very, very, very expensive. I have a feeling that this, again, is not going to work in Lindsay's favour at all. At least I hope not. I have everything cross for Re. I feel incredibly strongly about this whole case. I love the tattoo industry so dang much. I'm sure you're aware. There is so much amazing things that can come out of it. Um, but for me, making awareness of the horrible things also is quite helpful. And it just makes people aware that you cannot get away with this. We will not let you get away with this. What is happening to my voice today? <laughs> there is no room for people like Lindsay at all. I mean, like I've said, all she had to do was say sorry. And it could have all gone away, kind of. People would still remember, but like, oh, we're gonna remember now for sure. <laughs> like, this is not going away anytime soon. She's made it worse for herself. I know I'm repeating myself. I just cannot get over this. Like, it's so baffling that, <sighs> like, what is she trying to do? I just don't understand. I would, I would honestly love to speak to Lindsay, you know, and have like a conversation of being like, what, what is your game plan here? because I'm very interested to know what she's trying to achieve here, because I, I don't think it's going the way she wanted it to go, you know? Thing is, I have this theory, right? The thing is, I think because she left it quite a while to do this, right? It's been about two months. People haven't really spoken about Tattoo Gate in at least, what, four, five weeks, yeah? Like, we've all moved on to something else at this point. I feel like she waited a little while to do this in hopes that we'd all forget and that Rhi wouldn't say anything or, and that we had forgotten about Rhi. Not in a mean way, but we kind of like, nobody would be checking her page anymore because Tattoo Gate has died down and the only people that would see Rhi's TikTok is the people that follow her or whatever. I don't know. I just feel like Lindsay thought she could do this under the radar with nobody noticing because everything's died down. That's my theory. And yeah, that, that, that's not a thing, is it? <laughs> she should have waited longer. No, I'm sure we would still be very bothered by it, even if this come out a year later. Hello, it's still know. the same day. Um, I'm doing all of this on Tuesday, the 25th of July. So the same day it's being posted, hopefully, anyway. Um, I have just been made aware that the person that essentially started Foxgate or Tattoo Gate. Courtney, I called her Christine in my previous video, I do apologise, but she posted a TikTok mentioning about this whole law case, lawsuit thing, and it's kind of cryptic. Anyway, I'll post it here now so you can see it. Well, here we go again, unfortunately. Um, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging without a comment from me. Um, I don't really have much to say other than um, truth and fair comment are an absolute defense. Um, so I'll just leave it there. Um, I will show you that Laura's doing really well. She's pretty. I love her. So I'm not 100% sure if she has received anything herself. She doesn't technically mention that she has. Um, but there is this comment here saying, did you get a letter to? And Courtney has just liked the comment. She hasn't said as to whether she has or not. I'm reading through the comments here and there's no confirmation there's another comment just here it says don't back down you are a thousand percent in the right and courtney has liked that also this is obviously very fresh so i don't know the full story but there is a chance possibly that lindsay is sending out letters or emails to everybody involved in this or the main people i'm guessing obviously re and then courtney as well because Courtney was the first one to ever mention all of this. And of course, it is not her fault at all. She basically was just asking for advice and then it kind of just spirals, you know. Sometimes when you post things online, they go viral. Sometimes they don't. You just, it's out of your control. And I'm sure she was just asking advice, you know, to a small community of people and didn't expect it to get as big as it got. Again, Courtney sharing her story, which was truth, 
isn't defamation. There is no lies there. We all saw the proof. We saw the terrible fox sketch, right? This is craziness. So I'm kind of hoping that, I mean, I, I hope that Courtney isn't being dragged into this also. It's bad enough one person, let alone two, but I'm kind of hoping maybe Courtney and Ree can come together and they can fight this together. And of course, like I've said, I will keep you updated if anything else comes about. Of course, just like Ree, I have Courtney's back all the way. I think we should all go and support Courtney. Again, I will leave relative links down below to these people's profiles so you can go over to TikTok and support them or what have you, if you have TikTok, obviously. This is something else. This the audacity of Lindsay, the absolute, I cannot. Edit. Hello my darlings, yes this is another update while I am editing. I was in the process of uploading my video and then noticed that Re has posted another TikTok and I was like oh my goodness I still have time to pop this in here. It's basically Re proving that everything is legit and everything she said is happening which I fully believe to start off with anyway. I think the majority of us did. I, I don't think she would have any reason to lie whatsoever about this, like, yeah. Um, so I'll pop that in here now. Hey, I'm back. Um, I have to make a new update on this. Uh, so this is the letter that I received, just proof that, um, that I did actually receive a letter and I have confirmed it is a legitimate letter from a lawyer. Um, so I have retained my own lawyer. I set up, uh, here, I'm gonna make my, bye me, hello. Okay, so there's that. Okay, here's the second page. Um, so just because people were asking for um, receipts that I did actually received this and it's a legitimate letter. Um, so yeah, it is a legitimate letter and I retained counsel. I set up a GoFundMe so here's the GoFundMe. Um, I have a link in my bio. Uh, this was as of this morning. I have enough to pay the first um, retainer payment um, to my lawyer. Um, so huge thank you to everyone for all of your support and donations. Um, Cooper wants to say hi. Um, so yeah, I really, really appreciate it. Um, that's really as much as I'm allowed to say on it. Um, I'm gonna also, Steven. Um, I'm also gonna post just a receipt showing that I did make the payment for those of you that are kind of questioning what I'm doing with the donations. So one second. So yeah, I did make the payment. Um, yeah, and again, that's really all I'm allowed to say on it. I'm still new to this, so my lawyer is kind of telling me that I have to run everything by her at this point. Um, but yeah, again, thank you so much, everyone, for the support. Um, yeah, have a great day, and I will keep you as updated as I'm allowed. <laughs> it sounds like her lawyer cares about her a lot, which makes me so happy. It sounds like she's in good hands. If anything else happens from this moment on, it's gonna be in the next video or something, okay? Great. Thank you so much for watching and until my next video, bye.